Hey everybody. Hi everyone. We're back. Time to hit up the Goodwill. It's date night shopping on a weekday. I got the Super Gort convinced to go on a date night. Yeah. And you know, date night when you're a reseller, first stop is usually the Goodwill or the last stop, but it's definitely gotta be a stop. So is there anything you're on the lookout for? Last time you grabbed a lot of glasswares and some personals. I grabbed that bike. I don't really think I should look out for anything else. We're almost overrun with items and everything we need to get, we need to fill up the store right now. I think you've been kind of slacking on the listings and we need to get to it. Slacking on the listings for sure. Today we're looking to fill up our basket and we're gonna find stuff to put on our eBay store, Poshmark store. Got there? Nothing. Nothing at all. I got a poo. Sweetie, I got a poo. You got some poo? <laughs> a poo? I got a poo. He's got like no he's got a butthole with no tag. <laughs> Is butthole okay on YouTube? I don't know. You just said it twice. <laughs> So uh, this poo is a no can do for me. That could be a super poo. That could be a super pooper and I won't even know it. So if I blew this one, let me know in the chat. What is this guy right here? Is this is this a cowboy? I heard the cowboy is like a cowboy monkey. I think the cowboys might need this pillow to cry on from what oh. I've heard. Pillow pets. At one time your mom bought pillow pets for the boys. Oh yeah? Our nephews. Pillow pets? Are pillow pets any good? Well, they were like 10-ish years ago. I don't know if they still are. 10-ish well, years ago. I'm not ago. a pillow pet expert. Well, let's look this pillow pet up. All right, I'll investigate. And uh, see what, uh, it's still got its tags. I'm on the case. She is on the case. NFL 2011. You called it 10 years ago. But look at this thing. Super cool. Surprise, surprise, if you watch my last video, this thing's still here. Uh, oh, this is a little Route 66 Pioneer Express bag. Uh, kind of cool and nitty, definitely not my style, but I'm sure someone would really love that. Look at this Pug Bicycle Company. That is a beauty. Super Pug. If you had a pug and you were a bicyclist, oh, if I that had would a, if, be... If we had a pug, we'd be taking this oh, home Oh, for today. sure. I know we're already the bicyclist, but... Nine dollars. Pug and a bike. This is really heavy. I think the crazy lamp lady would pick this up. But I don't know. It's newer because it's got a barcode and oh, made in China. Man. No. Cool crazy though. lamp lady would pass it looks all right shout out game granny just subscribed to our channel came across my screen so it's appropriate i'm right here thank you again game granny shredmaster confidential all your secrets are safe with the shredmaster confidential oh uh, what's it shred receipts let's check out this turbo accessory by kirby kirby stuff is usually good it's a vacuum expensive they sell it door to door i don't know if they still sell it door to door they still sell it door to door sweetie I don't know. Huh. Well, let's check out this turbo accessory by Kirby. Look at this. What was that? I think it's a rowing machine type. Ooh, remember when we did the rowing machine at the gym? Yeah, we were both really sore. I know, we haven't been back. Slot Machine Sam has one of these and she swears by it. Yeah, if you use a row machine, let us know. I don't see a price on it either. I don't either. All right. Ooh, this one. Shout out Mermaids RIP because this multi system digital auto VCR does not work. It's already tested. That makes it easy. Get the Wii Box. Oh, it's heavy on the bottom. What is this thing? Oh! oh. It's really not tough. Don't leave on us. <laughs> Why you gotta be? I that took up? it down. Why you gotta be that? I took it down. Alright. Garden cultivator, eight dollars for the hook. Oh, it's Martha Stewart. Ooh. Martha Garden Cultivator. If it was a hoe, I'd pick it up for sure, but it's just a rake. 
Yeah, sweetie I'm loves some Martha get Stewart. This. I know you are. Once you saw it had Martha on it, how could you not? I think wow. we're getting one. All right, Martha Stewart. Remember before, folks, she said we're not getting, she shouldn't be getting stuff. Out the window, also, she wouldn't tell us what that is, but it's not for resale. Is this a kitty thing? Or I a think kid it's thing? maybe to t have for a baby to learn to crawl through or something. I don't know. We crawling. We got some more cowboy stuff. The cowboy fans, they're off the bandwagon, people. They're leaving their mugs behind, their little pillows behind. The bandwagon. There's more room on it next year. There's a silicone baby spoon bowl set. Anti-choking, non-spoon. Oh, things are interesting. Oh, the 49ers. They're still in it. KB Home. Dutch Brothers. Dutch Brothers Kids Cup. Shout out Dutch Brothers. We definitely hit up a Dutch Brothers in my video if you saw that. Shout out Dutch Brothers. Sponsor me. Talk about you every episode. Holla. Yeah, this little Coca-Cola. That thing's kind of cool in there. Saline is so refreshing. Coca-Cola cup. Oh, it's a Princess Cruises. Ooh, what's that right over there? It says blue cheese spread. And it's got a recipe. One cup cottage cheese, one tablespoon chives, three ounces package of blue cheese, a quarter teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, three tablespoons sour cream, and it makes two cups of whatever this revolting dip is. Two cups, but you put it in there, and then you keep the bread in there? I think so. Ooh, I kind of like that. Yeah, and it, look on the bottom, it's... Uh, California, USA. Ooh, Cali, USA. Yeah, it's definitely vintage. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Should we bag it? Bag it. Oh, look. It's like a little olive boat. And you have the olive oil and vinegar jugs right here. I don't think they're meant to be a set, but they could actually be a little entertainment set. Yeah. This little grape olive boat is very cute it's cheap i can tell just by feeling it but it's cute yeah made in china all right vintage cookie jar i tagged the niche lady on my instagram the other day with cow cookie jar she said it was a good find it's currently for sale 75 got some watchers babe this is the size margarita i'd like to go get Cheers. A little Harley Davidson Ride Easy Cafe picture, six dollars. And heavy usage. Gonna pass on that. Oh, look at this, the ringer. Let's see if this works. Still not working. Ooh, Trivial Pursuit Cups. Ooh, I like the sound that's of that. That's vintage. That's the old school Ooh, game right they there. They have geography right here. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get you with a geography question. What U.S. state's name begins but doesn't end with the letters A? I don't know. All right, so I got the Trivial Pursuit Cup. We have entertainment here. Are you ready for a question for it? In entertainment? Yes, entertainment. Here we I go. I don't know that that's my category, but let's go. All these questions are so old. Who made his electric debut at Newport on August 24th, 1965? His electric debut on what? Newport? At Newport. At Newport. At Newport. At Newport. His electric debut. Yes, this is an artist. An artist made his yes. electric debut. Him. He's a solo. He's one of your mom's favorites. Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan's the answer. Thank you for playing. Next category. Science and nature. I can tell by the green. Here we go. What month is showing on the calendar when the Earth is nearest the sun? July? January. <laughs> Next category. I need redemption. Next category, sports and leisure. Court needs some redemption here. This is not her category. This is usually my category here. 
Let's see if we can find some leisure. How many men does each player start a game of checkers with? How many men? Why is it men? How can it not be women? We need to update this. How many people, how many checkers does each player start a game of checkers with? 10? 12. I was thinking it was 12. I haven't played checkers since I was like okay. three or four. I played Here we with go. my grandma. Well, oh, all right, people. Okay. If you want to take Horridon and any Trivial Pursuit challenges, she welcomes you. I don't, don't. These are terrible. I usually do quite well these in trivia. Old, I feel like okay. I still need redemption. We give you one last category <laughs> for redemption. All right, thank redemption. you. Sports and Leisure wasn't my category. We that are wasn't going good. arts and literature. Oh, okay. I can... What, sh what Shakespeare play features the line, a plague on both of your houses? Romeo and Juliet. All right. Who's the hero of the Valentine Davies Miracle on 34th Street? Is it Santa Claus? Chris Kringle. Thank you for playing. Everybody, these are only 99 cents. They're pretty cool. We used to play this Trivial Pursuit all the time. This is cute. A daughter is a gift to the heart, joy to the spirit, and a friend for life. Oh yeah, that's totally cute. Very sweet. Yeah, we're just here hanging out tonight, sweetie. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully if we find some good stuff to bag, Man, it's we, been a little dry. It's been dry. Shelves are bare. They are so bare. Field goal sports mug, I'm gonna say that's a miss. Wide right. Little bird tray, I'm sure Niche would pick this up. But it has lots of stains from previous wear. glassware. It's red tag, which I thought was interesting. Still got an old tag on it. Everything happens for a Riesling. Oh, what a cute little saucer. Saucy saucer. Doug the Pug. Shout out if you know Doug the Pug. It's a pug theme tonight. Oh, he's a pug unicorn. Yeah, Doug the Pug. He's a uni. Aloha. Hawaii is one of our favorite places. We live here in Las Vegas on the Ninth Island, but we do love to go visit Hawaii. We are repping the Ninth Island for sure out here. Aloha. These are a cool color. Very festive. In case we want to give the boy a bowl of Heineken to drink. Oh, that is a pretty cool Heine bowl. Clooney can have some uh, Heineken with us. All right, here's the appliances, coffee makers, and the sort. Just haven't found much. Black and Decker toaster oven. It's got no uh, grate right there. That almost looks like a new wave. Oh, that is a new wave. I was going to say it looks like a new wave. But a mini egg-shaped one. Definitely sold some new waves and picked up some new waves. $15. It's kind of sticky. And dirty. It's the new wave mini. Let's give it a look-ski. All right, we'll pick this bad boy up for $15. That's up about $60. It's not faulty, is it? I don't think so. All right. We're bagging this new wave. It's like Cuddy Sark, like the booze. style is this? Oh, let's see what it says here. The John, handcrafted by John Adams Shoulders. It looks like an arc. Oh, man, it does look like an arc, and it doesn't look handcrafted the greatest. I gotta, I gotta say, buddy, I don't know that, I mean, the circles aren't that easy to cut out, but yeah, not that impressed. 
Not even gonna look it up. Could be a gold mine. Let me know in the comments below. We just passed up a gold mine. Ooh, a Christmas story. Solar bobber. Whoa. Six bucks only for the solar bobber. That seems like a steal. So it just bobs in your car? Yes. It's the Christmas story leg lamp solar bomber. Let's go over there and say hi to us. We're cute. A hundo though. What size are they? Thank you. What's up with these gals? We got anything underneath them? I don't know. <laughs> 1981, made in Taiwan. I'm not it's impressed. Bisque. What's that? It's bisque. That's really cheap. I think that even might be like homemade painted. This too. One dollar. They tried to sell it for a dollar at their yard sale and it didn't sell and they're trying to get a dollar ninety-nine here. I love it when they try to do that. Mm -hmm. These swans are red tagged. Mm, they got a stamp on them though. They do. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure Danny would pick those up. Maybe. I don't know. She likes the birds. Whoa. This thing is so much lighter and plasticier than I thought. All right, and the freaky dolls. Time to escape. This oh, there's section. a much freakier one than normal over here, and she's nude. Oh, look at this! I didn't point out this. Uh, what is it even? Crustacean. It's a crustacean sensation. I think you're right. <laughs> yes. Check out the crustacean sensation. Got some real tree camo. This thing's fake rocks. Just real tree camo. For the camo dudes. Look at all these. What do you think of these? Uh, I don't know the brand. Well, we got another brand. Oh, Brahma or something like that. That's a don't. No good. Good try though. Some easy inspireds right there too. Oh, I see it. They, might even, they look like the same pairs from the other place. What do you think of the denim tie-dyed Converse oh, inspired? Boy. Whoa, is that I a, know. bedazzled? What, what? I'm not even sure. It's like digitalized and bedazzly. Yeah, I think it's like uh, crystals. Cool. Yeah. Got a little round mirror here. There's a lot of art in here today. This is actually a rather large oil painting of a horse, but I think it's like a fast manufactured one. Sometimes you do find some interesting art in here though. Oh, we have a diptych. I guess it goes this oh, way. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We do like abstract art in the bags household. Oh my goodness, a third? there's a third. It's a third. It's a triptych. All right, let me show you your triptych. There it is. How much is this triptych? <laughs> you're not saying it right. $7.99 each one. So you're looking at 24 for the, the full effect. What is this? Thank you all so much for joining along in that thrift haul. We only picked up a few items for resale, the new wave, the cheese platter, and the cups. A lot of times when I go out thrifting, I don't find items. That's the reality of it. I am very picky, 
When I first started, I was so happy to sell any item. It was like a mini miracle. A couple dollars profit, you're like, oh, I sold this, I made a couple dollars. How exciting. But really a couple dollars doesn't get you very far in life. And I realized I can only list so many items per day. So I started looking and researching. I started checking out sell-through rates. I started being more picky. Discipline is very hard when you're sourcing. Some things are so fun and so exciting and you might personally like them and think they are a cool item, but if they're not in demand and there's not a market for them, then you're just picking up stuff that you're gonna be storing for a while and that's not the plan. You wanna pick it up, sell it, move it, ship it, and buy some more stuff. So overall, I mean, we picked up a few profits, got to spend time with Supercourt, which is always awesome. We're going to be sourcing some more because you know I got to fill the shelves. So we're definitely going to be hitting up a garage sale. We got more thrift stores to go to. If you found any value or entertainment so far in this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notifications if you'd like to know when more videos come out. We're putting them out every Wednesday and Sunday, reseller videos uploaded, and every Friday night, do a live stream in the Las Vegas area. We have fun, we have dinner, we have drinks, we have special guests. So make sure you tune into that. One last tidbit for all you hardcore money backers. If you followed this far along and you noticed that I didn't answer the trivia question Courtney gave me, I couldn't think of it. But if you answer it, put it down in the comments below. In about a week, I'll do a random drawing for a Starbucks gift card and we'll ship that out to you. Like I said, thank you so much for joining us. We got more thrifting to do. We got lots more adventures coming. Mikey Bags, I'm out.